I'm Brooke Wallace filling in for Max Brantley with your news headline updates for Thursday, January the 26th. Republican-controlled state Senate voted 25 to 6 to ban dilation and evacuation, the safest abortion procedure in the second trimester. The measure now goes to the governor who has said he will sign it into law. We mentioned yesterday that Senator Jason Rayford and others are considering legislative action to try to append the medical marijuana amendment to the state constitution approved by voters in November. Rayford floated a few ideas to KARK's Drew Petromo. One was delaying the law's implementation until federal government legalizes marijuana. The other would involve enacting the law but banning patients from smoking marijuana. KARK reported that Governor Asa Hutchinson is open to the no-smoking scheme. If the medical community says there's a better delivery system, I think the legislature should consider the best delivery system for that medicine to get to the patient, Hutchinson said. A Quinnipiac University poll conducted over the first five days of Donald Trump's presidency found that just 36 approve of the job he is doing, while 44% disapprove. Another 19% were undecided. Ritter Communications, a technology company based in Jonesboro, has signed a five-year lease for 1,328 square feet on the fifth floor of the Little Rock Technology Park, becoming the largest tenant to date in the Tech Park's first building at 417 Main Street. Well, that's all for today. Join us tomorrow and read more on the Arkansas Times blog.